Hello, Chris Green here with the Flood Insurance Guru. Today we're talking about some reasons why FEMA might be asking you for money back. You know, this is an issue that we run across actually quite often where a customer gets a letter in the mail from FEMA after the disaster wanting to know, you know, why they're wanting their money back. You know, can they ask for their money back? And the answer to that question is absolutely yes. Now stay tuned in this video as we talk about reasons why this might happen to you so you can avoid this from happening. Because trust me, you do not want to have to give a $10,000 check back to FEMA when you probably don't even have it after a disaster. Also, remember to check out our YouTube channel if you've got other questions as well where we do our daily flood education videos and also check out our website, floodinsuranceguru.com. So let's talk about some of these reasons today. You know, why would FEMA want their money back? Well, there's really three main reasons here when it happens. First of all, it was given by mistake. This actually happens more often than you think it does. You know, when an adjuster comes out and looks at the property, determines maybe you qualify for disaster assistance uh, when something like this happens. Or it was given inappropriately. Or the funds were used inappropriately, more than likely. And then the third reason is fraud. So let's talk a little bit about these so we talk about inappropriately used. You remember, FEMA has strict guidelines on how these payments can be used and what they can be used for. So if they're not used within these guidelines, FEMA can't ask for their money back. You know, does FEMA make the mistake of giving people money during a disaster that shouldn't have it? Absolutely. You know, it can happen, especially after disaster when you're dealing with thousands of people who may have lost everything. It's not out of the norm. So then what about fraud? Well, if you misrepresentate the information that you're giving to FEMA. You tell FEMA one thing when it's really another one, this could fall into fraud. This could be another reason why FEMA is asking for their money back. So these are just a few reasons of why FEMA might want their money back after a disaster. You know, can you appeal this? Can you fight this? Absolutely. You normally have within 60 days of the date that's on the denial letter, and one of the common things is that gets denied is the primary residence. Remember, if it's a secondary residence, generally you're not gonna get disaster assistance there. No, this could have been done by mistake, but it's mainly for a primary residence. And this is probably the number one reason why we see people get this letter from FEMA stating they want their money back after a disaster. So if you've got questions about maybe how this happened to you and you know what are your options, what can you do, how can you fight it? How can you make sure this doesn't happen to you again? As I said, make sure to visit our website, floodinsuranceguru.com. Remember, we have an educational background in flood mitigation, which means we can help you understand flood risks like this right here, your flood insurance, and mitigating your property long-term to help you minimize flood losses and flood premiums. Thank you.